This is my second attempt to make a rocket stove and it is definitely working better than yesterday's version. It's a total of, let's see, 17 bricks if you count the two that the saucepan is sitting on. And I noticed as soon as I added them, it did help improve airflow. The main purpose, of course, is to you know, let the flames hit the pot, and, but not have the pot block the airflow. So I, I feel like maybe the side, sideways exiting of the uh, heat is helping with what was a bad smoke problem. This is burning quite clean. It's scraps of wood from the chicken path. The bricks were scavenged. The uh, flagstone thingy, whatever you call that paver, was scavenged, of course. The steel pot was scavenged. And um, I put that up there. I, I should have checked the clock, but that pot's been up there been about five minutes and it's almost, almost boiling. There's little steam bubbles in the bottom of the pot. This is burning quite well. It was burning so-so and with a fair amount of smoke until I took a long stick and pushed in through the air intake and it turned out the, uh, the uh, ch couple chunks of wood had partially blocked the airflow. And as soon as I pushed them out of the way, the smoke went away. Nice, clean, bright flame, which I don't know if it was gonna show up in this bright sunlight. But I'm very pleased with the second attempt. No cost. If I keep this design, and I'm inclined to, and I see how well it's working, I'll try to scrounge me up some uh, pottery clay and make a, a, a thick paste and use a putty knife to go ahead and seal all the openings uh, between the bricks for better airflow. The goal is to have all the air coming in from that front entry port. And I think plugging up the seams with clay ought to do it. This is looking to be very promising as a way of creating the hot water to scald my poultry in after a slaughter. I also love the idea since I'm a soup nut and I've got a gigantic stainless steel pot. I just love the idea of having this out here on a chilly winter day, uh, day after day, making great big old pots of soup from a freshly killed chicken or a duck, uh, vegetables in the garden. I sit there in that chair. I'm going to have another chair next to it where these tomato seedlings are so a friend and I could sit and chat while something cooks. But I'm very pleased with this. Again, I'm amazed how the smoke problem, which was chronic, the first uh, version and the, even the second version vanished as soon as I put the two bricks up for the pot to sit on and as soon as I pushed uh, uh, the pieces of fuel that were blocking the airflow out of the way by pushing in a stick from the front. I had thought that it might take three or four prototypes and I don't want to sound too cocky or pleasing myself but I'm thinking the second version is probably what I had in mind all along and I want to thank whoever it was who put on YouTube uh, their version which I think they called 16 and a half bricks because I would have never thought to do this on my own. Also, I want to share with people this rose I bred years ago. It's going into a beautiful flush. It's a rambler. It goes up that rebar, sends, shoots off to the side, and now that it's autumn, it's been sending out these long, pendulous clusters of blooms. Uh, the, it's an open pollinated seedling of blush noisette. The smell is nowhere near as sweet as blush noisette, but it's still a very pleasant aroma. So I just like the idea of sitting out here with a friend with the roses and my herbs cooking something on a rocket stove. Bye-bye, y'all.